Hi Cancer, welcome to the Harsh Truth Tarot reading. This is timeless, so whenever you see it, it's supposed to be when it resonates. Some of you will see it right when I put it up, but I just trust that um, it'll have meaning for you whenever you check in with it. This is a general reading, like I always say, and then it gets specific because I do clarify. So if it starts off resonating and then it doesn't, take what resonates, leave the rest. Check your moon, rising, or Venus sign for more uh, for a more well-rounded reading. Or check another channel for another reading. I don't know of any like this out there, um, but I haven't checked. I just kind of got a wild hair and was like, hey, let's go with it. And speaking of wild hair, where I got the credit, or giving credit where credit is due, actually, where I got this idea for the reading, I got the spread from fairygodmotherspfortunes.wordpress.com. And it, I also saw the spread, I think it was by her, um, on Eclectic Tarot Forums. All right, so it's proven to be quite illuminating. Um, bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. This reading right here illuminates an area of your love life that you want illuminated. <laughs> that um, maybe you're just wanting to know the nitty gritty of. If you're not partnered or coupled, it could also be just your love life in general. Can't remember if I said that. Sorry if I'm being repetitive. All right, so harsh truth or reality of what is. So this is what is between you and another person or how you view your love life at the time. Um, you're thinking that somebody is, is quite dynamic, natural born leader, can command a room, um, is a can-do Cameron. <laughs> this could be female or male, so just very, just a very dynamic, likable guy. Often though, I mean, this is a great entrepreneur, a great doer. Often though, they're big on the how and not the, or they're big on the wow and not the how. So there could be some unfulfilled promises there, but on the whole, they, they do balance both sides of, of knowing and doing very well. Uh, you want to believe that this is a passionate relationship and that there's adventure awaits and that you're going to have a really good time with this person. What you don't want to be true is that it's not your soulmate or that you guys are going to break up. You really think highly of this person, male or female. Um, what you want to happen is, look at this. My goodness, we've got all these wands here. Page, knight, king. Um, some of you might be hoping for kids with this person. Um, others might want this sort of, and I say that because we got suits going on here. Others of you might just want it to stay, their interest to stay with you and to have that passion and to have that interest and adventure and just for that to be an integral part of the relationship. What you don't want to happen is you don't want it to be without purpose or meaning and you certainly don't want to break up with this person. That's echoed right here. Um, what is true though is that there seems to be um, maybe feeling weighed down like setbacks or delays or maybe there's certain things keeping you two from taking the relationship to the next level and most likely what's going to happen is there's going to be conflict or bickering about that. So let's clarify and get into it, Cancer. All right, so what you want to be true, that's pretty self-explanatory. You want this passionate adventure with this person. What you don't want to be true is you don't want to break up. Why would you break up? Could be an Aries, okay? For some of you, you're feeling kind of dependent upon your partner. Um, it could very well be an Aries. It's this dance between feeling like they're too controlling and yet feeling like you're also very dependent upon them and maybe to the point of neglecting other things in your life. And this might be in an effort to keep them so that you don't break up, okay? Which is certainly not healthy. No judgment, just saying, just interpreting here. We've all done that, we've all been there. Okay, so what is true? Oh, look at that, it's suited. Oh, cancer, this is suited. Okay, so you've got most likely a married couple or at least a committed couple. This is obviously because you don't want to break up. So, Cancer, you see this, you really admire your partner, male or female here. You really admire your partner and you're, you're suited. So this is definitely a marriage or a, a solid couple. It's just that right now there's like this 
things are, your your partnership is really weighed down or bogged down by delays or just life being life and things are not very passionate or adventurous right now it's almost like you two are just you know sometimes you're excellent roommates there's there might not be a whole lot of passion or even communication or doing things with each other sharing those hobbies those bonding experiences together you want a new you want to take it you you really want connection and adventure with this person you really want you don't want it to be over you want a new start a new beginning with this person um new adventure new feelings of romance and lust and all of that you know passion really don't want it to be over you don't want this to be i mean don't want it to be over don't want it to be over don't want it to be over you don't want the communication to stop you don't and you're afraid of that and, and with good reason that's one of the relationship killers right but you really don't want this relationship to stagnate and to lose its purpose lose its momentum to be all for naught to not have that second chance that new beginning and for someone to not be honest with you not tell the truth um maybe someone start to get controlling or to go from this you know back and forth between this where they're controlling and they're manipulative and tyrannical you you don't want that to happen you don't want to have to go gray rock or like no contact or um you know just block your emotions and and be indecisive and overwhelmed and confused you don't want to to go there with this person you really want to keep it passionate and the communication open and <sighs> cancer i'm sorry yeah you're hopeful you want that passion and that romance you want you don't want the emphasis so much to be on being secure you want more of an adventure and this lively communication and passion and, and going places and doing things and having that camaraderie and just dialogue and discourse and the way you guys used to discuss things and talk about things and do things and you want that back and this right here all of this right here is is somebody is definitely calling the shots in the relationship and being kind of controlling and that's putting it very mildly i just don't want to get yelled at but this is someone that's not being fair and you really want that security back you you're hoping that this sort of someone taking charge you know is just all about the adventure and okay they get to plan it this time or that you know what you, you might want to feel when you're feeling passionate you want you want to feel a little off kilter or a little off out of control right you don't want someone to lose their mojo and not be secure whether it be in job or otherwise you you want you want a stable secure connection with this person you don't want to feel like you're not secure with them Yay. So, probably going to have kids because you got kids right here because of the suits and then you got this right here. Kid, the kids could be on the table. I'm just saying, for some of you, kids could be on the table. You will argue your way out of this toxic place that you guys might have come to or that you're feeling like you came to. You will get the relationship back, okay? But it's going to take fighting and it's going to take... Um, having that honest communication and it might get loud it might get to where there's conflict and tension and that it there needs to be a shake-up you know there needs to be a shake-up of the status quo sometimes this isn't about toxic but it's also i mean it can be but it's also about shaking things up and going against the grain and doing what's not predictable or what would be prescribed per se like this is all about breaking free right shaking things up and this conflict and tension and arguing and fighting, it will be purposeful. You are going to break the mold, so to speak, and get out of that unhealthy either rut or just way you've started to relate to each other. And there could be talk of kids on the table. There could be revisiting what you guys used to, finding yourselves again, because this is a soulmate connection. We've got this right here. This is soulmate. This is soulmate past life karmic connection. And this is about finding that again and being who you once were to each other and reigniting that passion and preferring each other over everybody else and everything else. Especially if this is a long-standing committed relationship, sometimes we get in our ruts and everybody assumes certain roles and then it becomes unhealthy, you know? 
Take time for rec relaxation and adventure. Maybe it's as simple as you going on a vacation with your partner and just re-solidifying that bond and remembering what it used to be like and bringing that passion and all of that back. So my voice is going. I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is about done. So I've said all I have to say. I'm going to end here. I hope it was helpful for you, Cancer, and don't despair. It's going to be okay. You're really worried about this, but it's going to be okay. And I hate to say it, but you need to fight. That, that's what needs to happen is that we need to stop being good and submissive or just like okay well maybe you know being hopeful and be like no this needs to but this is how i feel and blah, blah 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 so don't be afraid of that go there with them okay so i hope this was helpful for you cancer and i hope that you see your way out of this and you get that reigniting of passion and connection with your partner um hope to see you at the next reading take care